What is up guys? Welcome back to the videos. If you guys are new, my name is Mike. So today we're going to be installing something that I've had for quite a while now. I've always had it in my room, but I never actually went out and actually installed it. It's nothing huge, huge, but I'm sure it's going to make a huge difference on Ariana. We are installing tire stickers on Ariana. If you guys don't know what tire stickers are, they're like basically the white lettering on wheels. Kind of gives your car a little bit of a race car vibe. I did order this probably last summer and it does come with glue that I'm definitely aware of. And we're gonna see if I screwed up, if the glue hardens all by itself. I don't think so. Basically inside the box or the bag rather, this was roughly about $120, $130. It does come with rubber gloves, which is cool, I guess. Probably don't wanna get glue all over your hands. And this is actually my second kit. The first kit that I bought, they kinda sent me a defective package because the glue literally exploded all over inside here. So I do have extra ones of these, and um, just so you guys know, the customer support is pretty good because they did send me this one out for free. So basically what it comes with are the tire stickers itself. You can pick different sizes for what tire height and tire profile you have. You have the glue, which is self-explanatory. You need to stick it on. And this is basically like a tire cleaner before you install it. We're gonna go ahead and put these on Ariana. To be honest, I'm really happy to see the glue still usable because I did buy this over a year ago. And all of this is still usable, so I'm pretty happy to see that. Now that we have the wheel off the car, usually what I like to do is kind of clean up under the wheel well. It just gives me like peace of mind just so uh, I know everything under here is clean. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the first step in installing these uh, tire stickers. All right, so the first step is gonna be getting this stuff and then bring it on this rag. We're gonna be going ahead and cleaning this area here and here until it's like basically close to 100% clean. Just so when we put the glue on, it's gonna stick on the tire really well. So now that this part here and this part here is basically clean, we're gonna go ahead and wipe down the back of the tire stickers, add the glue and then stick them on. We got the falcon over here. Basically, this is how it's gonna look like. I just have to wait for the glue and the tire sticker to basically rest, stick to the tire, and then I would be able to take this part out. We did the falcon, I'm gonna go ahead and do the azenis. So I'm gonna rotate the wheel and yeah, work on it. So basically, one thing I just thought of is once you have the falcon or whatever tire sticker you have on here, when putting the second one, you want it to be like basically parallel or mirrored to the other side. So you don't want to have the other side off a bit, kind of like this. Yeah, that looks weird because this one's off to like one side. Even if you're covering some of these letters over here, you screwed up a little bit, you got to go with it just so it's kind of like straight and parallel. And also when sticking these tire stickers, you kind of want to have the letter in between this line here and the bottom here. You wanna kinda stick it on like that and have it curve with the bottom line here. Just so it's straight, you're not gonna have a tire sticker that looks like that. Came up with this good idea. Shout out to dad for giving me this little tire chalk thing. Once you mock it up, mind you, these aren't glued on yet. I would advise getting like a piece of chalk or this is like crayon to kind of make a line here just so when you take this off and you glue it on, you have a reference, an exact reference of where you want it. Stick it on, do the second one, and there's a line there and it'll be perfect once you stick it on. All right, so this is basically how it's gonna look like. We're still waiting on this side here to fully dry up so we can take this plastic off. This side seems to be pretty good. Sneak peek. I'm just gonna wait for it to dry and then we can go see it on the car. All right, so another update just on the car. I got the rear one done as well as the front. So this is more or less how the car is gonna look like. Just ignore like the wheel gap there since the other side is jacked up. 
I think this looks so freaking sweet. I think the tire stickers definitely add another like race car feel aspect. So just for like reference, this was before and this is after. I definitely am a big fan of the tire stickers, but we're gonna see how well they hold up. Since my car is like a daily, I wanna see how well they hold up just because um, I don't want them to be like falling off after like the first or second week having them. If you guys wanna get this type of look, but don't wanna spend like the huge amount of money on tire stickers since they are like 150 bucks, I think, you can go ahead and try out like the pen. I don't have one here right now, but it's literally like a white paint pen that you can like, color in here. So you just use the, the black border just to fill in the rest of the letters in white. And you would kind of get the same effect. Although again, I don't know how well those actually last since I've never actually used one, but that is one way of getting the same kind of look. And I think this style is coming back. I know my dad said in the 80s, all the tires were like this, but no one really liked them and they used to invert the tires. But I think it looks sweet. I think Ariana definitely looks like a race car now. They also recommend cleaning the back side here. I kind of just wipe it down. Try not to lift the tire sticker out of the masking. So once you're done cleaning, you can go ahead and put the glue on. And once you stick it on, kind of spread the glue around, kind of massage the tire sticker. And then afterwards, you wait about 10 minutes and you're all good to go. So right now, me and some of the guys are gonna go take pictures of the car and Zach just removed his muffler on his Jeep. I'm gonna show you guys in just a bit. It sounds gnarly. Keep we're just setting up like a group shot right now. Ariana's over here and here's Zach G. Check it out. Straight up, that's the exhaust like somewhere over there. He just took off the muffler. It sounds pretty freaking gnarly. I think the tire stickers look so, so good. Oh my God. Squad boys. Oh, this is like our little photo shoot place. It looks sweet. And when you rev, it sounds super, super loud too. One thing I did notice though is I probably need to redo this one. It's lifting a little bit, but I also did just put this one on, so just a little bit more glue. The back seem to be holding up. Damn! Yo, Zach, how'd you get the smoke there? <laughs> let me know what you guys think about the tire stickers whether it's something you guys would do to your car or not and let me know if i should change up the livery on ariana i know like it's still like a shit now you're taking a picture of me i can't do it whether i should change up the livery or not i know it's like still kind of new but i've been thinking about changing it up let me know what you guys think down below all right so we just finished a little photo shoot we had i'm really happy with these tire stickers sage and i are probably gonna grab a bite to eat then head home i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did remember to leave a like subscribe and join the annie perfect society peace out and make it happen